Hi, this is Jackie Sholoman with Sholoman Group of Cobo Banker. Today, I would like to discuss three things you need to consider before preparing your home for sale. Here we go. The very first one is preparing the house for the market. And there are subcategories under that. And the, the first one is doing a light renovations. Also doing some, uh, you know, spruce up your landscaping, staging your house, and also consider return your on your investment. Typically, you can discuss this with your realtor to find out which one of these items that you can do uh, that it gives you the highest return on your investment before you move forward with uh, that project. The second item that is, uh, you should consider uh, before you're selling your home is how to best price the home. Um, and then from there, you, you can also determine do you need to price it under the market value, at the market value, or slightly above the market value. Of course, you know, we always recommend to, um, to price your home at the market value or perhaps even slightly under the market value to create that compelling value in the eye of the buyer and um, so that you can get the best price, the best terms, and also potentially multiple offer on your home and sell your home for the highest price. And some of the items that you need to consider is who's going to pay for what? Is it the seller is going to pay for certain things? Is it the realtor is going to be paying for the marketing expenses? Or you know what is it that the buyer is going to be paying as far as the closing costs? Who pays for the closing costs and so forth? Those are the items that you need to discuss with your realtor before you get prepared to put your home on the market. And the most important part is what we call a net sheet. Net sheet is the estimated closing cost so you will know you know based on what you can sell what your uh, title fees realtor fees and all the other expenses such as remodeling renovations that you need to do and pay off your mortgage if there is any you know how much net is going to go into your bank account at the close of escrow the next item is how to find a replacement home and this is typically a very big dilemma for the sellers because they're very concerned about if I sell my home I don't know where I'm going to go next so the consideration is either buy first and sell next or sell first and get a rent back and uh, find your next home to to buy and uh, and then you know there are so many options are available you can have seller uh, contingency with the buyer that they will allow you to have a longer close of escrow so that you can go and find a property to buy you can get a rent back after the close of escrow so you're in a cash position to buy your next home so there are so many different uh, scenarios are available so I would say that you need to discuss all of these with your realtor uh, before you move forward with uh, selling your house so if you're thinking about selling your home and you don't know what the process is, how to start, and where to go, uh, I'll be happy to have a 15-minute strategy session with you to uh, go over the process, the strategies, uh, and walk you through the entire process. And then uh, also find out what is really important to you, what are your goals, your timing, and where you're gonna go next, and then come up with a customized plan that meets all your criteria. So I look forward to um, meeting with you.